Alright guys, Mike here again. We are covering Bigfoot this week. Bigfoot Appreciation Week has almost come to an end. And uh, another book that I grew up with, I got this one in high school because I was really, really into cryptozoology. Now, cryptozoology, if you have not seen my other videos on the subject, is the scientific, I know, people will debate back and forth on whether it's actually scientific, uh, but it is the scientific study of unknown or hidden, specifically that's the word here, uh, animals, all right? And uh, one of the great books on cryptozoology is this book, Cryptozoology A to Z, written by Lauren Coleman. Now, Lauren Coleman has done a ton of work in the field, and uh, so you can see a few of his books right here. Uh, he's done a lot of research in traveling around, interviewing people, talking to people, uh, trying to figure out, you know, like... Like he he's he's trained to spot you know liars and you know who doesn't actually believe what they're saying. Now you can believe what you're saying and be completely wrong. That that is entirely the case. Uh, but Lauren Coleman has done a bit of work in this field. Uh, he runs a cryptozoology museum in Maine, which regrettably I've not yet gotten a chance to get to. But cryptozoology A to Z is one of those really really cool books uh, that goes through just a lot, almost like an encyclopedia, goes through a lot of the different cryptids. Uh, that you're gonna find now one thing that's kind of cool about this book and high tech level of detail here um, Again, it is the encyclopedia of Loch Ness Monster, Sasquatch, Chupacabra and other Authentic mysteries of nature and uh, what it does is alphabetically it goes through all of these different creatures It has various guys who've contributed to the field and uh, again, even defines words like cryptid, uh, some other guys' names. And uh, it'll go through, and uh, I'll show you guys, let's do the article on El Chupacabra, all right? Um, I think, I think it's under CH, all right? So you got the coelacanth, ah, there you go. All right, so El Chupacabras, all right? And uh, so there you go. And uh, the Chupacabras, it, it, it is uh, this weird... It's called the goat sucker, and so you'll see the chupacabras show up in uh, Doug Tenaple's work, Bigfoot Bill. Uh, you'll see it show up as one of the main creatures that roams around during uh, the uh, Common America stuff with uh, cross uh, black ops, and uh, so those little little dog-like creatures. Um, and so again, you go on through. Uh, this one covers things like Bigfoot, giant octopus, um, the blob monsters, all of those things. And uh, it's kind of neat. And uh, again, you'll see various. Uh, here's Bernard Heuvelman. You've heard me reference him uh, various times on the uh, on the videos. And what's neat about this book is it actually covers some of the actual creatures that have been discovered through some of the cryptozoological means. And uh, so it's kind of fun. And uh, so it'll go through Sasquatch. It'll go through lake monsters generically. Various incidents. Uh, has a whole section on the Loch Ness Monster, which is fun. And uh, so now this is uh, Bigfoot Appreciation Week. So we do have to go to the Sasquatch section. And uh, so again, you've got this one right here. Uh, this is the Minnesota Iceman, which was a big ice thing that was frozen. And uh, again, nothing really came of that for the most part. Uh, you've got the Moa, which is extinct. And then, hold on, we're turning. The anticipation is building. Can you handle it? All right. And uh, so then we come here once and for all to Sasquatch. Now, uh, in this book, he's actually referencing some other books. And uh, so Ivan T. Sanderson's done a bit of work. And so there you go. There's the Abominable Snowman and some other works. And uh, so again, Ivan T. Sanderson has done a ton of work in this field. And uh, so you do want to be familiar with his work. Um, so specifically things like this. And again, it's it's got all that glory of the old 80s style. And um, actually, that might be 70s. I can't remember. Oh, never mind. It's 60s. So, yeah, I don't know when it was reprinted, though, but you, you know how all those books look that way. All right. And uh, so you can see here uh, Ivan T. Sanderson and just the various things that he's contributed to the discussion. And uh, you got the Abominable Snowman stuff. And then you've got some of the Sasquatch stuff here. And so various masks. Um, and then it moves fairly quickly on, but there you go. All right. Now, uh, Sasquatch is kind of cool. Um, Sasquatch is actually not the original name that they would have called it. It's kind of a squishing together of a bunch of different words. And uh, so if you're familiar with that, just, just a fun little trick. But again, there are a bunch of different creatures that are covered under the Bigfoot moniker. And so you've got Yeti, you've got Sasquatch. And uh, so again, if you're interested in cryptozoology, 
there's your book right there. Uh, it's going to have a good summary of a lot of content. And uh, so hopefully you guys found that interesting. And uh, welcome back to Tomes. We're covering more and more content here on Bigfoot Appreciation Week, covering cryptozoology A to Z.